The year was 1911. Today, I use the fast-flying fragments of radium as tools to probe into the atom. I placed a small sample of radium inside a solid lead block. The lead absorbed all the rays except those that were allowed to escape through a small opening in the block. One might say it was a sort of atomic gun. To make the ray bullets visible, I used a fluorescent screen. For a target, I chose a very thin leaf of gold. But to my surprise, the bullets from my atomic gun passed right through the gold leaf as though it wasn't there. It was like, like shooting at a ghost. This was truly amazing because the gold leaf was a solid wall. 2,000 atoms thick. So the atom can't be as solid as we always thought. Then, unexpectedly, one out of thousands of bullets ricocheted, striking something solid. I can only conclude then, the atom is mostly empty space, like a cloud or shell. But occasionally I hit something solid. It must be very small, a tiny particle in the center. I shall call it the nucleus of the atom. With Rutherford's discovery of the nucleus, scientists began to understand how nature builds her atoms. The shell of the atom appears solid, just as a fast whirling fan seems solid. Actually, the shell is composed of a whirling swarm of tiny electrical particles called electrons. They circle around the nucleus like planets around the sun. So the atom is like a tiny solar system. But scientists are ever curious. Like the fishermen who examined the vessel he had hauled ashore, they began to probe the atomic nucleus for its secrets. They found that it was composed of small particles electrically charged. They call them protons, which means primary particles. Later, to the great surprise of science, other strange particles were discovered in the nucleus. They had no electrical charge. They were neutral. And so they were called neutrons. At last, the mystery of the atom structure was solved. amazing nature is. Think of it. There are countless solar systems of atomic suns and planets in everything. There's a whole universe in the tip of a pencil. Even in this tiny pencil dot, there are billions of times more atoms than there are people on our Earth. 